What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do some dope wall art that is going to be the talk of your friends and family. The best part about this wall, there's no painting involved. And best of all, it's under $20. So if you wanna learn how I created this geometric wall art using washi tape, stay tuned. So when I moved down here, I had an idea for my living room. I wanted to do a nice accent wall, kind of like the wall that I had in my other videos, but I did not want to do that traditional black and white pinstripe. I knew that I wanted it to be black and white, but I wanted it to be a little more modern, a little more chic, um, something that was delicate but still bold, and I decided on just geometric wall art, but I'm not allowed to paint in my apartment, so I had to come up with another way to create this wall art um, without breaking the lease because girl, I want my security deposit back. So I found out about washi tape. I've seen a few tutorials and I'm like, yes, I have to try this. Now this washi tape, you can get anywhere. You can get it from Staples, Walmart, online and in packs of six, it's $2.99 each. And the great thing about using washi tape for your wall art, like I said before, this is great for those of us who aren't allowed to paint our walls. Um, so it, it's cheap it's fun and it's a great way to quickly add personality to your wall now when starting out this design you want to make sure that you wipe down your walls with a wet paper towel this is just to get the dust and everything off of your wall so the washi tape will adhere strongly because if not the washi tape is going to fall off now when you're doing the actual design, the geometric design, there are no rules to it. Um, I can't really fully give you a tutorial on how to do it because it's different for everybody. Everybody likes different things. So the only limit to this type of wall art is your imagination. You can make these triangles as big as you want, as small as you want. You can have them facing in one direction or the other. It's really up to you and what your mind will allow you to do. So please pull out that creativity that I know that you have on the inside and your wall is going to come out amazing. So for me, I wanted to have fairly large triangles because my wall is very high and wide. It's about about 12 by 10 feet um, my wall so I wanted something that have a big visual impact and would still look right with my TV so I decided on doing large triangles and what I did um, I just made like a skeleton layout of where I wanted everything to be because one I'm doing this freehand so I don't know exactly what I'm doing I'm kind of just going with the flow going with how I feel and two I only have four rolls of tape. Now, I could go get more if I wanted to, but I wanted to see how how much I could get done with these rolls of tape. So, you know, keep that in mind as you're doing this design and laying out your design, um, how many rolls of tape that you have and you can plan accordingly. Um, so I just basically did this large skeleton layout of where I wanted my triangles to be so I can go back in later and fill in and make them smaller or rearrange things as I need them to be. Now when you're doing your layout, as you go along, you want to stop and step back from your piece and look at it as a whole as you go along and it'll allow you to go back in and rearrange a certain line if it's crooked or something like that because it's hard to tell doing this type of you know wall art when you're right up close to it when it's right in your face in this stage of the wall art you, do, you don't really need to be concerned about how neat the tape is how neat the you know overlapping lines are because you can always go back in the end and clean it up with um an exacto knife so don't worry about how neat the tape is and if there's little tape sticking out or it's tape you know overlapping in the corners because you can clean that up um so if you're in the flow if you're in the groove don't break it by trying to clean up as you go because it'll take you less than two minutes to clean it up afterwards just make sure you get your design where you want it to be first and then you can worry about everything else later
and the washi tape that I'm using from 3M is really, really strong, surprisingly strong. Um, but you want to make sure that you rub it nice and hard into the wall so it doesn't lift up. So once you have your basic layout done, as you can see, I kind of fast forward it a little bit. Um, you can go back in and start to fill in the smaller spaces and you know, really put your design together as a whole. And this allows you to rearrange things as you need it. But for me, I was pretty much okay with the size of you know the triangles and the directions that they went in as I wanted it to be a little bit random um, everything is not going in the same direction it's kind of weird and wonky and it's exactly what I wanted and this whole process did not take long at all I only used four rolls of tape to complete my wall and it took me about it took me about an hour an hour and 15 minutes or so so it didn't take long at all and I'm pretty much certain that I'm going to be using washi tape for the rest of my apartment. <laughs> so after this, I'm all done and this is what my wall looks like. I am in love with it. It is clean, it is chic, it has a certain delicate nature to it, but it's still bold and in your face, kind of like me a little bit. Um, so yeah, I love my design and I hope that you guys love it too. If you try it out, you definitely have to email me. I would love to see your designs. That was it. And like I told you earlier in the video, this is what I did with the gold washi tape. I put it in my kitchen. So my kitchen needed a little sprucing up as well. And if you see that black and white refrigerator, I have a tutorial coming up on that also. So if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I'll talk to you guys later.